I have two books at my bedside, Lieutenant. The Marine Corps Code of Conduct and the King James Bible. The only proper authorities I am aware of are my commanding officer, Colonel Nathan R. Jessup, and the Lord our God. suffering is, Counselor. Like it says in Galatians 3, have you suffered so many things in vain? Yeah, I learned from the get-go on the job to get in touch with the soft nurture inside of myself, the feminine side. Yes, ma'am. Come on, come on. All right, let's put the arms out. Put the arms out straight. Roll your palms. I'll do what he says. Turn around, slow. Do you believe portrayals of Christians? the mundane activity she'll be saddled with the rest of her pathetic life. I just hope for your sake you at least had the good sense to use protection. Why? Your parents didn't. You're going to hell. Just as long as you won't be there. I can assure you, I won't. Good. Sorry, you guys. This is so stupid. No, it's not, Marianne. It's real. It's real. Jesus tells us to love everyone. I mean, even the whores and the homosexuals, but it's just so hard. It's so hard because they keep doing it over and over again. religion upon the mind of man. If you can do one, you can do the other. 
because fanaticism and ignorance is forever busy and needs feeding. We were the town, little town that we were. We were not what we were portrayed to be. We were not what we were portrayed to be, what we were portrayed to be. God doesn't want your boys to get killed, Edgar. survey of 16 to 29 year olds by the Barna group found that quote among young non-christians nine out of the top 12 perceptions were negative common negative perceptions include that present-day Christianity is judgmental 87 percent hypocritical 85 percent old-fashioned 78 percent and too involved in politics 75 percent end quote what you tend to see is religious believers who are crooked or crazy. That according to author and political columnist S.E. Cup. 
who warns the mainstream media is using its influence to wage war against the nation's Judeo-Christian heritage. Cup, a self-proclaimed atheist, looks beyond her own beliefs in her new book, Losing Our Religion. She contends it's not extremists in the news who are the most hostile threat to our nation's values, it's the news media itself. But questions of religion may hang over Romney as well. New revelations about Republican vice presidential nominee Sarah Palin. Continue to raise questions about how her religious views might affect her decisions on public policy. Sarah Palin was elected the mayor of Wasilla in 1996 with the strong backing of her church, the Wasilla Assembly of God. It wasn't just simply a matter of her using the religious right uh, to get elected. She was one of them. Cup exposes the media's overt hostility toward traditional values. Her book is a preemptive strike, holding the media accountable for what she calls their, quote, unapologetic bigotry. If Rick Santorum is commander-in-chief, he will do what no other president has had the courage to do, declare war on hell. I think for the first time, the liberal media has someone in the White House who is equally as uncomfortable with public worship as the liberal media is. So you have the state and the liberal media sort of working together. Add to that the fact that Hollywood has always been hostile to religion, and that's pop culture, the media, and the, the White House. Those are three very big microphones. And if no one is checking any one of these groups, then it, it's no wonder this is allowed to go on in, in such a sort of overt way. The media uses religion as a weapon, as a tool. They use it to humanize the left and to demonize the right. For almost 2,000 years, Christians have been lawyering the Bible to try and figure out how love thy neighbor can mean hate thy neighbor and how turn the other cheek can mean screw you, I'm buying space lasers. So Barack Obama's version of Christianity, and I'm, I'm still a little confused on, on what exactly that is, but, but that is completely elevated. Um, it's, it's used to, to make him look like a very sort of reverend, you know, um, spiritual seeker. Whereas George Bush's overt Christianity was used by the liberal media to make him look crazy and fanatical. And uh, they did the same thing to Sarah Palin and Mike Huckabee and Mitt Romney. And, you know, the, the Christianity of the right is treated far differently than the Christianity of the left. The operation was called hobbling. to say but go ahead I don't care when I was praying God told me to get ready get ready for what to be his replacement Miss Wilkes Miss Wilkes are you all right Now to a controversial new theory that suggests there's an ongoing liberal bias in Hollywood. In a book entitled Primetime Propaganda, The True Hollywood Story of How the Left Took Over Your TV, conservative columnist and radio host Ben Shapiro has set out to prove, well, we're all being brainwashed. Yes, according to Mr. Shapiro, even Elmo is in on the plan to swing America to the left. Mr. Sheldon? Uh, totalitarian regime, 
they have they have attacked two basic intermediary uh, institutions, the family and the church. And that's what's happening in our culture right now. And it sets up uh, an appetite for governmental largesse. Government becomes the family. I feel bad, Paul. It was bound to happen sooner or later. It's a sign. Trust in the Lord. Your ass belongs to me. Welcome to Shosh.
President Hoover was the first politician to articulate the idea that consumerism had become the central motor of American life. After his election, he told a group of advertisers and public relations men, you have taken over the job of creating desire and have transformed people into constantly moving happiness machines. Machines which have become the key to economic progress. What was beginning to emerge in the 1920s was a new idea of how to run mass democracy. At its heart was the consuming self, which not only made the economy work, but was happy and docile, and so created a stable society. in the 2008 campaign, not once did anybody in the elite media ask why Barack Obama voted in favor of legalizing infanticide. Okay. If we're going to have a debate about who the extremist is on these issues, it is President Obama who as a state senator voted to protect doctors who killed babies who survived the abortion. It is not the Republicans. Protect doctors who killed babies who survived the abortion. It is not the Republicans.
sometimes it reaches up to the moon Taking me higher and higher and higher and higher and higher Then again sometimes, like the man said, comes right back to you Give you nothing but the blues You know, Planned Parenthood for the, right, the, the Christian right is a symbol and all he has to do is say those two words. But, you know, they, they remind me of sort of the American equivalent of the Taliban. You know, 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 you know what I'm missing. From the Vallow stairway. Hold it right there, don't move. Don't move. She was one of them. In short, in Scott Brown, we have an irresponsible, homophobic, racist, reactionary, ex-new model, teabagging supporter of violence against women and against politicians with whom he disagrees. That's a song by Little Richard. Little Richard. You know, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know what I'm missing. On the Velo Stairway. On the Velo Stairway. As you got rid of it. Jesus longs to meet you there. 